U.S. taxpayers are unwittingly funding the Israeli military technology industry. Israel gets $3.8 billion per year in military aid from American taxpayers. That's $10 million a day. Some of this money helps finance the very technology that the Israelis use to spy on American citizens, to steal from American industries, and to betray American politicians. For example, the stingrays that were found in 2019 tapping the cell towers surrounding the White House in order to eavesdrop on President Trump's cell phone conversations were determined to be Israeli. More important than the actual conversations, the duration of calls and the frequency of communication. Somehow, two Israeli companies control all the call records and billing data of every phone call made in the U.S. Both Israeli companies are subsidized by the Israeli government. The Israeli government also sponsors the NSO Group, the Israeli company that creates products specifically for cyber burglary. They own and license the zero-click cyber attack software Pegasus. Pegasus can hack a mobile device with only a phone call, whether you answer it or not. This software can access all the data on the device, track and locate the user, and control the camera and microphone functions remotely. The Israeli cyber weapon was used in the assassination of Saudi Arabian journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Supplying the Israeli military technology industry with U.S. tax dollars makes us complicit in the human rights abuses that the Israelis either directly commit or support through their absurdly lucrative weapons export industry. These companies, right, whether they're in Israel, whether they're somewhere else, go, this is not my problem. How is it that when we have uh, privileged and capable industries in developed countries using their powers, right? Uh, not for saving lives, but for making money to such an extent and to such a level of recklessness and irresponsibility that it actually starts costing lives.